It is a Sunday to be remembered, not only by Selma, but by the rest of Alabama and by the rest of America. Under the leadership of Dr. Martin Luther King and under the presidentially ordered protection of the National Guard and soldiers of the United States Army, the long-awaited, long-delayed Freedom March to Montgomery begins. UN Undersecretary Dr. Ralph Bunch is but one of many persons in public life who joined the march. The bridge where before the marchers had been turned back is crossed without incident. By one means or another, practically every foot of the 54-mile course is under surveillance to prevent violence. Some 3,200 people walk the first few miles from Selma. After the first day, when the highway narrows from four to two lanes, the number is reduced to 300. First night stop is at a farm where tents have been pitched in a cornfield. The logistics of feeding and preserving the health of the participants has been as carefully worked out as an army maneuver. The five-day trek will end at the executive mansion, where one of the most impressively delivered petitions in history, a petition for rights for Negroes, will have been brought to the governor.